Hey guys, it's Alyssa from AlyssaNalani.com. Welcome back to my channel. We are at episode number three in the scripture journaling series that I've started for this quarter. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you'll want to head over to the description box and check out the link for the Welcome to Club 119 video where I talk about what the club is all about and all the details and how you can get signed up and jump in along with us. I would love to have you part of this growing scripture journaling community that we have started. So for a total of 11 weeks, we are going to be scripture journaling through the 119th Psalm, which is the longest Psalm. And this is the beginning of week number two. So as you can see, I'm just prepping my pages here. I've got some scrapbooking paper and stickers, and I do pre-cut and kind of pre-plan before I start recording, but honestly, I'm just, you know, picking out paper and making a few cuts and then just kind of winging it afterwards. <laughs> Nothing too complicated um, or fancy, just placing some paper and some stickers. All right, now that I'm actually writing the verses, I'm gonna go ahead and read them. And the stanza that we're working through is um, verses 17 through 24. I am reading and writing out of the New King James Version. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks with longing for your judgments at all times. You rebuke the proud, the cursed, who stray from your commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Princes also sit and speak against me, but your servant meditates on your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. And now for today's discussion question, which you can absolutely write in your journal and or you can leave the answer in a comment here on YouTube or in the Facebook group if you're a member. And the question is, why is it important to see and understand the law of God? Now I've been doing two pages per spread in my journal, so two pages per stanza, but the way that I designed this particular spread, I had um, enough room for the entire stanza to fit on the one side. So I had space on the other side for something else, so I decided to write down some lyrics from a song called Every Promise of Your Word, and I will link the song in the description if you want to check it out. It's a beautiful song, and it's by one of my favorite, absolute favorite artists ever and you'll definitely want to check them out if you have not heard of them. Um, but yeah, that's just what I put on the other side of my spread because I had the extra space.
Now, if you're catching the series on this video, then make sure you go and watch the previous two videos um, from the beginning and get yourself caught up. You can find the links for both of those videos in the description. Also, if you're watching this at any time during the summer of 2019, so from July to about mid-September, you are absolutely invited to jump in at any time during that period and um, write in real time with the Club 119 community. If you are watching this after uh, September of 2019, then still check out the links in the description. I'll have everything updated because I do plan on keeping this going for as long as I can and there should be a series going on in real time that you can jump into. You are of course free to watch this series um, for Psalm 119 and you know, write along with a series at any point, but if you want to write in community in real time with whatever series is going on, then check the link for the description and see um, where or what series is going on in real time at the time that you're watching this video. As always, I just want to thank you guys so much for joining this community. I get new people coming in every single day and it's continuing to blow my mind and just your enthusiasm and your creativity and um, just the stories that I'm hearing and the comments that I'm getting um, is really encouraging and I hope that this continues to be a blessing for you and that you are touched and that you are strengthened in the word and um, that you're just loving this process and that it's bringing you closer to Christ. That's my purpose, that's my prayer, my goal for Club 119, and I really am looking forward to seeing this grow and blossom into something incredible and even bigger than what I had initially intended for it. Um, I've got some plans and I'm working on them, but for now, I am just grateful to have you on this journey with me, and I really hope and pray that it is as enjoyable for you as it has been for me. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.